Sean, you're good. You got it, dude. <sighs> Left heel. Strong. Strong. Evolution, first done by Jason Kell in what, 2002? We'll put the real date right here. Uh, goes, trends left after you get like kind of towards the lip, it goes left. I think the reason why he did that initially was because the landing is much safer because you're not so high off the deck. You kind of go into a scoop and it's harder and he had a vision, right? It's all about the vision. I mean, I, we've done some first ascents now and I understand his vision. He had a vision and he wanted to do it that way and he did it that way. However, Evolution Direct goes straight up the boulder. And I think personally that calls to me more. It's a little bit scarier and a little bit easier, so they say. I mean, I don't know, I've never done the left one. But it goes straight up and that, that inspires me. I like to go straight up. We've been coming up here to Bishop for seven, eight years now? Seven years, something like that. This has been on the lifelong tick list since we saw it. It's the first boulder, literally the first climb that you see in the buttermilks is this. The road comes up, you drive up here and you're like, holy shit, what is that? That thing is insane, huge. And then you walk under it, you're like, what? It's even bigger than it looks. And when you're raised on Leavenworth granite, a highball, has a different definition than Bishop Quartz Monzonite. These egg-shaped boulders are just insanely massive. But luckily, for seven years, we've been training on these egg-shaped boulders that are fucking massive. Yes! This thing in the last couple of years kind of felt within reach. Two years ago, we pulled onto these holds for the first time and, and fell off a bunch. And it was like, holy shit, this is hard. Match it. Last year, made it to the lip with Cobra. Shout outs to Cobra. We figured out the beta that works for us, which involves a, you gotta cheat start. You gotta stand on this rock and a stack a bunch of pads. Left hand there, right hand there. Not climbable in the sun, cause it's glass. These holds are glass. And for our first move, we throw a right foot here and drop knee, then go right hand to the side pole. Come on, stick them. Nice, dude, come on. Yeah. Everybody else in the world, it's not everybody else in the world, but everybody else I've ever seen do this thing, makes a huge right move to that uh, crimp that's pulling straight down. Everybody does that. And uh, I don't, I can't do that. It's way too far for me and it's way too dynamic and way too hard. And I don't know why people do that, but I guess it's a box thing. It's like my body type fits this right drop knee and going out to that right side pole. Then the trick is to be able to throw a left heel on the hand foot match on the start hold, then go up left to the next side pole. Yeah. And I think a lot of people can't do that heel because it's too tight. The other piece of uh, very important beta that we found was once you get to that jug and this like really good smooth crimp, you left hand foot match again with another left heel to go up left to the next jug. Everybody else I see try this thing in videos and stuff. Andy Lou, Nina Williams, um, Lonnie Kauk, everybody. They throw up left to that thing from like a low foot or like stick a foot way out there and like fall into it. Come on. Fuck. 
took so long. Yeah, you yeah. just swung out there. So I felt like, you know what I wanted? What? I wanted my left heel on that fucking jug instead of throwing that left foot way out there. This is just what I felt. I mean, I was trying to do the beta like how I see every, literally everybody do it, but... Throw the heel and then bump up left? Yeah, exactly. That'd be pretty dope. Right hand on that, left hand, left heel, and then just reach up. That does seem better. That left one. Come on. Yeah. Come on. Super good. Yeah, right foot, left heel. Keep it. I really like the left heel hook and then just pull up to it and grab it like it feels super strong and secure after dialing in the bottom part to the lip the crux for me was reaching the left hand crimp at the top it's so far away you have to throw another left heel we use three left heel hooks on this thing another big left heel hook and you have to rock up and you have to like i can't lock off here i gotta lock off here which is way harder i couldn't do it on a rope the first few times i tried it Pull on the heel. Get it on. Pull on the heel. Come on. I can't reach it. These are the quote jugs at the lip. It's really scary. Really, really, really scary up here. It's, it's a long way down, but you don't think about falling. You just crank on this right hand and this left heel. I'm not quite in the right position. My leg is bent out, but that's the heel. And then left hand here, and then right hand. I like the close spot with the thumb catch. You could also do it further out, it's better, but it's further away. And you gotta reach that crimp up there. This is the crimp that you gotta reach. It's so good. Bomb our thumb. Lots of room for your fingers. I figured out beta where I fall right hand into a right hand side pull jug, which is so scary. Not so much on a rope, but way scary without a rope. I mean, you're, you're falling. It's good, like right here. I kind of dynamically move to this thing, which is real scary. I don't recommend that beta necessarily, but it felt good because I was able to get my right hand on a jug. My left hand's on the really good left hand crimp. And then I can switch my right foot to a toe on the on the jug on the lip. And then my toe is in that position for like the rest of the hard moves. I liked being able to get my foot there as fast as possible. Then I reach right hand to the right facing crimp match. This one's a match. Right hand here. Switch hands for the camera. Left hand here. Shake out. Reach left hand, match it. Reach up to the worst hold on the route. It's just a grain. And then go up to that bad crimp up there. So bad. This is the worst hold on the route. It's like just a grain. I like to hold it, put the grain in between my fingers and wrap my thumb. Crimp the fuck out of it. And then you have the scariest move that I've ever done in my life, which is a high left foot. High step. And then rock over. And then left hand up. And then once you're in that position, you're pretty balanced. You're pretty well balanced there. But getting there... Scariest move I've ever done in my entire life, for sure, no doubt, 100%. Some bad holds up here, worst holds on the route, but, you know, the angle's not so bad, so. And they're grainy, they feel like super sharp and grippy, which is nice. I'm gonna need it. I could not do this left heel move, like, at all. The first day I tried it, and the second day I did it three times in a row, and then when I was trying it from the bottom, I wasn't even close.
couldn't feel my fucking fingers, man. Come on! Break it! Go, come on! No fucking way. I'm sure without a rope, it's going to feel way easier. Like when we did Rise, it was so hard on a rope. But then without a rope, it was so easy. It's ridiculous. Um, the rope management and the weight is just, everything's just a little bit weird. So it'll be easier without a rope. Don't look down. Every time I trained at home, I was picturing evolution in my head. And I would just say evolution, evolution, because that's what I really wanted to do. We came out here with that in mind, and we spent a lot of time not doing this. You gotta warm up to the bishop climbing style. It took me three weeks now, two plus weeks, to like get my skin ready. Two days ago, though, Kyle fucking popped his pulley. Those guys are fucking dancing. I'm like, hey, you gotta stop partying. Whoa, stop having fun. fun. Snap, bro. That's my fucking finger, dude. Hopefully that's not permanent. So that kind of dashed our hopes. It was like, let's just, I guess we're done. Because, you know, I'm not just going to have Kyle sit around for weeks on end watching me climb stuff. Um, but I wanted to give this, like, one more good attempt, you know, before we leave. Today, I, I tried it three times, and I fell off the second move three times. I was like, what the hell? Not today. Not today, man. Not today. I don't know why, man. I don't know why. And then Nathan, who was here, um, he said to me, it's a hard move. And I was like, no, I should be able to do it. And then I thought to myself, wait a second, he's right. It is a hard move. I have to try hard. Just because I could, I've done it a bunch of times doesn't mean that it's easy. It doesn't mean that it's a gimme. I still have to try hard. After I said, you know, this isn't the day, and Nathan was like, yeah, it's hard, you know, I'm like, I tried it one more time, and they went down, and I wept at the top. You got it, dude. You got it. Yeah. Good, come, on. come on, man. You got it, dude. Come on. Come on. 
Get it on. Yeah, you got it. Nice, bro. I for a second even think was <laughs> Can't feel my fucking fingers at all. <laughs> <sighs> Who needs it? Hey, you guys, clear the landing. I might throw up. <laughs> just kidding, just kidding. <laughs> Hell yeah. He's your slab, come on. <laughs> I can't, I seriously cannot feel it. I can't feel it. All right, Casey, I promised you I'd do a shoey if I sent evolution, so here we go. Uh, uh, yeah, buddy, what are you talking about? He doesn't need it anymore, he got evolution. I'm done climbing forever. Yeah, hanging up, retiring. There you go, Casey. Man of his word. Fucking gross. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Nasty. Maybe Casey. You're gross. <laughs> if you at home, if you if you liked this video, make sure to click the like button, click the subscribe button, and uh, watch our other videos and leave a comment saying how fucking sick this thing is. Because it is fucking sick. It's so sick. And if you're feeling generous, you could support us on Patreon so we can come out and do more crazy shit. Maybe Ambrosia next year. Or two years or three years from now. Or uh, maybe more first ascents, like big investment, or who knows. More to come, though, for sure. Thanks for watching. <laughs>